Hello. Hello. Welcome to uh, this yacht. You know, we're just hanging out on a boat. We're super hungry. It's like noon o'clock. We're making a shrimp fried rice. Pan's really hot. This is sort of like a um, cast iron wok pan. It's really cool. We got an induction stove top, right? Yeah. Well, induction stove top's really cool. You can take this anywhere. It is a bit fragile, but it's also very industrial and heavy duty. A lot of good meals cooked on it so far. Yeah, and you can cook anywhere. Outside, you just need energy, generator, or whatever. This is a very versatile meal though. Like, say I didn't have cauliflower and broccoli, and instead I just had carrots and green peas in the freezer. Totally fine, throw it in. You don't have to do seafood, vegan. You can add whatever you want. Our pan's getting pretty hot. I've just turned it up. It's like on a medium high. So I'm gonna add in the oil, and then some onions, and carrots. So we are making fried rice, so that's a pretty good amount of oil. It's probably one and a half tablespoons. Spread it around. It already smells really good because this is like a cheater oil, right? It's like the garlic and ginger are already in there, which is cool. So I always let that get a little hot. Then we add in our onions. And just kind of stir this together, Tyler. Sure. So Sometimes you want to let your onions cook, la la la, then add your carrots. We're not doing that today. We just want lunch. We're <laughs> hungry. So we're going to add in our carrots and get those cooking. I cut them up pretty fine. You can also shred them, which I like to do. These are all of our cauliflower stems. So, and again, like, do I want to put that many? I'll put that many. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Just chill out with the recipes and the measuring, and it's all good. Celery. I cut this really, really fine as well. So add in some of that. So we almost have like a maypole going, right? Like maypole is your carrots, onions, celery. So we just have that, and then added the the cauliflower and broccoli stem because I just like to use it up. I used to never use it. Most people throw it away. You get a lot of good flavor out of there. So just gonna get a little light in here for the double. Get it all going. I'm actually going to turn this up a little bit so we get it high because we just oversaturated our pan. Has a lot going on right now. But what do you reckon to next, Tyler? Uh, maybe mushrooms. So we're going to go with the garlic. Oh, we're <laughs> so garlic. That's garlic. This is really cool. This is black garlic. Oh, never seen that before. So it's basically been roasted and it turns into this paste. So we're just going to pop that in there. But yeah, this is really cool. I keep all my garlic in the freezer. I ran out of that too. So now I'm going to my black garlic, which is really good for you. It's kind of funny, right? It's like you use all the things that you never used before because there's nothing else to use. So then it's like sort of like laundry day, your last shirt. <laughs> Wear it. And then you realize it's, it's your guy. favorite shirt. Like, why have you worn that? I don't know. So I'm just going to make a little little circle here in the middle just be a little more forgiving to my garlic so that's probably good I've added half of that this spatula right is so cool man kitchen I love any type of spatula like this because you can cut with it I've cut our pizza with it the other day yeah, right it just kind of chop it up in there while I'm doing this whole topping thing I'm going to chuck in some of these clams so probably like two-thirds of those. <laughs> you gotta be careful with your clams. If you don't get a good clam, it's almost like sandy. Mm. Nobody wants sandy, unless you know, sandy you're having clams. a little cookout at the beach or something, but let's leave the sand at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can see what's going on. So that's our garlic in the middle, our clams, everything's kind of going. We've got nice heat here. Veggies are steaming themselves. You can go ahead and add some of those mushrooms in. Yeah. So that's two pans of those little mushrooms. Maybe we'll add in two thirds of that as well. It's two third kind of day, Monday. <laughs> so I'm kind of gonna keep cooking on the sides there, right? But again, we're gonna make our little, little okay. safe haven. We got two eggs, our little farm eggs here. You reckon you can crack those eggs? I give it a shot. But then Tyler's gonna crack it on the flat surface like this, and then you pull apart. So many people crack on the eggs, which is fine if you do that. You're, but scientifically, you're pushing the shell in. And everybody knows the shell is what has salmonella. If you crack it flat, 
no shell. Unless you hate the people you're cooking for, then put the shell in. All good. Oh, we don't hate the people we cook No, I mean, I always make food, you know, each their own, though. Now, I, only, I like to make good food, but some people don't. Either they're like, you know, put, put that bone in there, or whatever. So we're just gonna, like, quickly scramble these. We've done this in our life to make it really easy. I keep them always, like, in the fridge, and then it's like, oh, what do I want to make? Say you have cooked rice already, say you have your chopped vegetables, this will take you 10 minutes. She'll whip up a meal real quick, and it would look like she took all day on it, but she has everything already prepped, which is really nice. So we got our egg in there. I don't always eat eggs. Very, like, you know, if I have farm eggs, then I feel better about them, but you don't have to put the egg in here. I reckon it's about rice time, huh? Rice 30? Rice 30, a bit smidge more of this, the, the egg kind of dried it up a bit. And then we can take our little cloth. I don't want it to go into the vegetables, I literally just want to get it right there. Alright, this is for three people. A mate, mate's going to eat it as well, so... He's not being very generous with the rice, but that's cool. Am I not? <laughs> <laughs> done, done to me! Alright. That's... Probably good. Oh yeah, I can't see. Maybe one more spoonful or so. Great leftovers, obviously. Afternoon snack or whatever you want, you know. Can you hear that? It's like snap, crack on top. All of our vegetables have a little oil, right? This is actually made with sunflower oil. I really don't mind using a lot of coconut oil. So, yeah, whatever oil you want to use. I do not recommend canola oil. Look it up. I think we can add in some chili, huh? Now we're gonna like add some juices. Everything's really dry, you got the oil, and this is just gonna go like Pshh. So this is like super hot. I've probably done like 15 chilies. Wow. In a little ninja. You can just do coconut oil and the chili, really. And I've made two jars of this. This is all just not like spicy. I might get away with like a little bit more. <laughs> I like Again, this. like chili is so good for you because it's high in vitamin C, it's high in antioxidants. We so need that right now. If you feel like any tickle in your throat and you're like, oh no, I'm getting sick, or this will boost up your immunity. And you're like, how would fried rice be good for me? This is how. So we're gonna do a little tamari. This is like just the soy. If you don't have tamari, you can use soy sauce, you can use liquid aminos, whatever you want. Vinegar. If you want to be all like, oh, I need to measure stuff out, I don't know what I'm doing. For this ratio, it would probably have done two cups of rice, one tablespoon of tamari, one tablespoon of vinegar, and we're just going to do about a teaspoon of this fish sauce. And our trusted mustard, which would probably be about another tablespoon. It really helps if you kind of go Edward scissor hands here. You want to try to give it a little stir, so you're going scraping and flipping up. Scraping and flipping up. And every once in a while, you just want to like push the sides, right? And give that a go. So after he tosses this a bit, we're going to add in our cauliflower and our broccoli, which we've steamed. I just rinsed off with a tiny bit of cold water and pulled it in the fridge. If you can see me! Uh, <laughs> through the steam. So I've cooked them all that day a bit. You can see it, it'll still tear. It's really, really nice, but it doesn't. It's not mushy, right? Like that's really hard for me to like try to break the little pieces. Let's go ahead and make our little little pocket again. I'm all about the pocket, just because whatever I have in the center, I can fold the edges in, right? I'm not gonna put something on the outside and try to fold it in. Like I like to make my life easy. Okay, I added in a couple of handfuls of this. This is already getting like super vegetable-y, which is great. If you wanna just eat rice, then rice around here or whatever it is <laughs> you can help yourself here this is something different it's probably about a half a cauliflower half a broccoli i'm gonna go ahead and add a little more tomorrow i'm not gonna use salt in this i'm just kind of too lazy to go over there and get it <laughs> and then we do have salt in our clam juice as well so i'll add in some clam juice that's like half of the the clam juice that was in this jar there all right, give her another little stir. 
then, I mean, we're so close to just going onto that platter there. I'm ready to eat. Popping some stuff and putting this in our belly. <laughs> because I've cooked these vegetables perfectly, which you need to do as well. <laughs> no, you don't really. You don't even use frozen. We looked into like cans. Use whatever you have. We're just tossing these in here together. Now is a good time. We don't want to overcook our shrimp, right? Same with we don't want to overcook the broccoli. We do, do want hot food. My pet peeve is cold food that's meant to be hot, hot food that's meant to be cold. Nobody likes hot sushi. <laughs> Sorry. So these are our shrimp. If there's any juice in there, like try not to get that. I, that's heat, isn't it? We're going to have some leftovers. These are just like cocktail shrimp? Uh, these are yeah, just little, make sure that they're, they're vein and you can even buy these frozen and cooked. I prefer wild, but if you get them farmed, you know, there's all kinds of ways to make sure that they're being farmed responsibly. And we're just gonna... Pan's getting really full. I mean, if you're watching this right now and you're close to Jupiter, Florida, come over. Just find our boat, jump on and say, I want some fried rice. <laughs> If you find us, I guarantee I will give you, you some. You can probably smell us. <laughs> yeah, you smell us. <laughs> the air is so clean right now because no one's driving. So again, like fold, I'm folding and pushing. It's not going to take very much to warm up these shrimp and you're not cooking them. If you were cooking them, you can do it in the same pan, remove them. I always like to chill them because you don't want to let it be at a danger temperature zone. How good does that look? <laughs> so, we've just plated this onto this platter. It's probably the longest part of our cooking. <laughs> it's so heavy. Uh, so now we're just going to top it with a couple of simple things, right? We're going to do the bonita flakes. These are the little fish flakes for those who smell. <laughs> Super fishy. Uh, you'll see these on top of your sushi, so you've probably seen it on top of like tempura sushi when we used to go out to eat. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're just going to put some of those on top. Then, I love sesame seeds. I've been super into these. You can do like tahini paste, which is sesame seed paste. Sesame seeds just in rye. Super high in protein. Oh my god, they're like moving. Sorry, the little bonita flakes are just <laughs> curling up. Your food is alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add in some sesame seeds. These ones are black. You can add whatever color you want. Very pretty. The black ones are a bit pretty. Sometimes I get bamboo smoke. You know, you don't got to be that fancy. And this is our shishkami togashi. It's Japanese. <laughs> Sorry if I said that wrong. I have a lot of Japanese friends. I just I can't stick for some reason. It's so hard. You try to say it. This will last you so long. We got this on our trip back to Australia. But wherever you are in the world, you can get this. And we did add in our hot sauce, right? Our nice like bird's eye hot sauce. So good. Not too much of this, but I love the flavor. It's a completely different flavor. That's like chili. This is like pepper. Not pep black pepper. Red pepper. Red pepper. So just a little bit. If you feel brave and you're like, I wonder what that tastes like. Pop some out of your hand. Oh baby. You want some water? <laughs> You all right? Nice. <laughs> yep, all good. You want to wash that down a little nope, spoonful? I'm good. <laughs> I put a drop of this on my throat. If you have a sore throat or something, make this. So it's just the bird's eye chili and coconut oil and lemon, right? Kill anything inside of you. Just leave it there. This is for good for my immune system, right? So good for your immune system. Cool. Chilies are so high in vitamin C and antioxidants. This is chives that we grow on the boat. There's no lettuce in the store. We we're lucky we were growing our own lettuce. We were so grateful for something oh, so green. Good. This meal's all about frozen, pantry, but you add those couple of fresh things in, all of a sudden it goes from like a pack of ramen or whatever to something beautiful. You've just gone out to eat in a different country. So we just cut it off. You're practicing that for my haircut, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be cutting Tyler's hair soon. He thinks it's gonna go well. <laughs> it will is go gonna well. go well. No, I have cut a little bit of hair. It's been a while, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> Fool shame me on twice. me, fool me twice, shame yeah, on me. Yeah, so, see if we do a second. one shot. Second hair, got it on. You just cut these. Really, I, I, some green. I can't tell you how much I'm not particular. Because you limit yourself, right? If you're like a teaspoon of this and teaspoon of that. Maybe I want my dish to taste more like... Mustard. 
As I said, I'm obsessed with mustard. <laughs> mustard. Mustard. <laughs> Other people will start to like mustard too if you make it taste good. I didn't like mustard. Before. He hated mustard. Hated all of them. Loves them now. Love them. So that's all good to go. So just so you can see what that looks like. Really cool. Does that mean taste time? Taste time. I'm sure you guys know how to eat a shrimp. You just pop, pop, pop. This one's gonna just like fall right out. Woo! Are you gonna eat the shell? What? Probably. We'll yeah. leave it fried. We've already made him do the chili. We'll save the shell for another day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> right away you get that salt, right? Mm -hmm. Then the chili comes in. It's so savory. You get like a hint of that heat, but it's not too much at all. Cold off my tongue actually a little bit, that bite. It's so hot here. This and a nice cold beer or tea or whatever you want to drink or nothing and pull takeaway box with your chopsticks and sit on the floor, feel like you're in a different country, it's fine. <laughs> you don't have to feel so limited. We have like a world full of resources, even if you can't go anywhere. Use them. Reuse and use and reuse and use and... Can we, can we eat this now? Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> let's go take it away! It's delicious. If you have any questions, please let us know. Or if you're uh, near Jupiter, Florida, come by and uh, snag a plate. There's some extras. Our exhaust fan goes right onto the dock on this yacht, and you will smell this. I get, oh, I see some people looking now. <laughs> we might have to share a bit more of this than we, we planned, but that's okay. <laughs> yum. 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 Yum, yum. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We love your support. Stick around and subscribe. We got plenty more to come. Team Sweets. Probably even freeze some of this if you really wanted to. So when you're freezing, it's like if I put you in an ice bath, right? Like, I'm not going to just put you in the ice bath. I'm going to like set you outside, hose you down a little bit, put your feet in some ice water, and you're like, oh, this is really nice. It's like summertime, you know? And all of a sudden, it's like here, and you're in an ice bath, and... Treat your food that way. <laughs> Just be gentle. These are bird's eye peppers. These are the little chilies, so you want to eat that one? Just, no, don't. These are really, really hot. <laughs> I don't know why I always have to smell it first, fish sauce, because that actually doesn't smell very pleasant. <laughs> I just always smell it. Very fishy. Very, very fishy. This is not tomato sauce. Dijon mustard. I love vinegar so much. Mustard? Mustard goes on everything. My phone's named Mustard, so if anyone want to sponsor me, Mustard. <laughs>